The year is 1990, and Hong Kong is in desperate need of a new airport. Being one of the world's most densely populated cities, Hong Kong faces a usual barrier that is often seen in other highly populated cities. The land issue. A city with a population of more than 6 million people and a promising economy was surrounded by mountains and had a severe shortage of land. And since there was no place to build, Hong Kong decided to make the new airport on the water. And this is how Hong Kong expanded the city boundaries and created the most significant airport terminal of that time, which stretched 10 square kilometers on the ocean. Fast forward to today and the economic powerhouse is facing the same total capacity and land issue again and is again ready to stretch its city and the airport boundary on the ocean with a price tag of $18 billion. A glimpse of the 90s Hong Kong Airport After its completion in 1998, the Hong Kong Airport was nothing short of an artificial wonder. The first airport built on top of the artificial island gave an exotic and futuristic look. From its buildings to the transport connections, everything felt premium. The airport's size was so huge, it allowed the passing of 28 million passengers in the first year. A Bridge for the West After Hong Kong was handed over by the British in 1997, the newly built airport acted as a bridge, allowing easy access to Western companies to try their luck in the young Chinese market. China's economy was experiencing an economic boom throughout the 90s. The inflation rates were dropping drastically with each financial year, and it was the perfect time for Western companies to make their mark in the Chinese market. And the timing of the Hong Kong International Airport, the HKIA, couldn't get any better. Traveling to the world's most populated countries got so easy that the airport was flooded with passengers. Soon, the airport reached capacity and new parts were constructed to fulfill the passengers' requirements. A second terminal and a satellite concourse was built in 2007, but that couldn't fix the area shortage issue. In addition, a midfield concourse was also constructed a few years later in 2011. However, it wasn't a permanent solution either. Unfolding the $18 billion airport expansion After numerous attempts, it was time to come up with a solution for the long term. Hence, the idea of expanding the airport and the city was introduced. After three years of study and a few rejected plans, Hong Kong's government approved expanding the HKIA by adding a new three-runway system. Construction started in 2016 and 2017. President Xi Jinping was briefed on the project. The construction site is huge. It's like building the same size airport right next to this one. This mega project is called the Master Plan 2030. Just like the previous airport, this one will be built on top of the reclaimed ocean land, stretching the city limits by more than 10 square kilometers. The project will add a new 3.8 kilometer runway, which will allow the passing of 100 million passengers and cargo weighing an estimated 9 million tons. After its completion, all the operations will be shifted from the north runway to the new one until it's reshaped to allow the runway three passengers to access Terminal 1 directly. The new runway will include a massive 280,000 square meter passenger concourse, which will be linked to Terminal 2 via an automated people mover. The newly added APM, or Automated People Mover, will have a length of 2.6 kilometers and be capable of moving 10,800 passengers every hour. A new advanced high-speed baggage handling system would also be installed, allowing the bags to move three times faster. In addition, a new and even more advanced technology system would be installed to make the departure process work more seamlessly. These new additions are estimated to cost $500 million. The new plan includes expanding the existing roads and transportation systems and improving the connections between the airport and mainland China. A quick reminder before we further continue our discussion on this topic. If you've enjoyed the video so far, consider subscribing as we frequently post such videos for you to check out. Building Land on Water To build all of this infrastructure, Hong Kong will further reclaim 6.5 square kilometers from the ocean. While doing this, Hong Kong would take a different approach this time. 
Due to the shortage of minerals like marine sand and in light of the environmental concerns, this land will be built through a method known as deep cement mixing. This procedure goes on by injecting cement into the contaminated soil, stabilizing it, and removing the damaged dredging before more material is added so the land can be raised above sea level. How crucial is this expansion for Hong Kong? Being an economic hub and densely populated city, Hong Kong desperately needs this expansion. The expansion would not allow more passengers, but it's been designed to solidify the city's role as the global aviation hub. Master Plan 2030 doesn't include only a new mega side runway, installments of new technology, and upgrades of building and transport. Still, it also consists of entertainment, retail, and commercial complex. New World Development Co. has been assigned with the contract to construct this commercial complex. After its completion, it will be bigger than New York's Grand Central Terminal. The work on the land reclamation is almost finished, and the construction above the ground is about to start. If everything goes according to the planning and scheduling, which is currently happening, the airport will be ready in the year 2024. Even though everything got shut down in 2020, the work on this mega project progressed gradually and the passenger numbers are already reaching pre-pandemic levels. This mega project is expected to be ready by 2024. After its completion, it's expected to contribute 4.6% to Hong Kong's GDP by 2030. Once it's ready, it'll be one of the biggest, if not the biggest, busiest airports. Hong Kong is also one of the world's busiest air cargo hubs, recently ranked 9th globally. At the same time, Shanghai has retained its number one position. After fully operational, its cargo industry dominance would also be positively affected. Have you ever had the chance to experience the Hong Kong airport? Please share your experience with us in the comments section. If you learned something new today, make sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Made Well Finder so that we can keep making such fantastic videos for you. Thank you for watching.